This tutorial will teach you how to place and configure the hardware and generate mounting holes in Woodwork for Inventor. Firstly, a few words about hardware supplied with Foodwork. On the current market there is a lot of furniture fittings manufacturers. Most of them produce a standard fittings. They have similar shape and use similar mounting holes. Therefore we use quite elegant idea. Components of Foodwork library are common for main fixture manufacturers. And this means that on design stage you can place and configure generalized fittings to get right drilling holes in the model. And later on the bomb generation stage you can set the codes and names according to your supplier using the replace configuration. So this means that you can place generalized hardware elements and then you can assign some code of woodwork. So as you can see on the left there is some handle example. It has some standardized center distance. And we can replace all of them using one single element from Woodwork for Inventor Library shown on the right. Now let's go back to the modeling. As initial model, you can use the results of your previous trainings or you can take the model from a tutorial dataset. As you remember, uh, drawers already have hardware set, so we can make them invisible for a while. So just select the drawer component in the design area and make them invisible. Now we can place the fixtures using place command. If you configure your project correctly, there is a library in the frequent used folders on the left side. As you can see, all the components in the library are uh, grouped by their type. So in our example, we will use uh, minifixes for boards as well as uh, the handle and pair of hinges for the door. So let's take some components from a fixed joint section. This will be a minifix. And as you can see, once I selected I have selected this component, I can choose the configuration which is suitable for me. In this case, we will use the default. Okay, let's place another component. In this case, it will be a hinge. It will be concealed hinge. Let's place it somewhere nearby. And the last one will be the handle. Okay, in this case, for the handle length, let's set another parameter. Once all the components are placed in the assembly, we need to add some center planes. So let's define the vertical work planes as an offset from the front and back edges of our model. As you can see, our model uh, has different side panels. The left and the right side panels has different depth. So this means that the offset from the front should be set separate. So let's use the work plane tool to set an offset from the front. As you can see here we have a negative value, so we need to also keep that in mind. And let's do the same from the opposite side. Speaking about the back panel, there will be a common offset. So let's use the same comment again to create another work plane from the back. Those work planes will be used as a reference for the minifixes. Now let's set some uh, vertical work planes for the hinges. It will be quite tricky to do because we need to set an offset from the door panel. Make sure that you have selected the right edge. And the same from the bottom. Now we have set all the reference work planes and it's time to attach components. Let's go back to woodwork design and we will use attach command. To have a better control I will place components in three steps uh, for the left side, for the right side and for the center as a separate steps. Also for better control I will temporarily turn off the visibility for the door panel. Now let's use attach command. And as you can see, this command has two options. It can place single component or it can place multiple components at once. In our case, we will use second option. So now I need to pick a component that will be attached. Let's start from a minifix. As you can see, once the component has been selected, it automatically lists all the necessary reference geometry items. In this case, I need to select the nested board. In this case, the nested boards will be the bottom surface of the desktop and the top surface of the bottom panel. Also, I need to pick the pillar board side plane, the right 
and the left side, as well as access. You can pick them from a browser or you can pick them from a design area. Once all the reference geometry object has been selected, we can use attach command to place them in a workspace. As you can see, now components are presented in the model. To place the same component in another location, we can use a new occurrence button. And now let's place the components on the right side. So we have the same situation. Let's pick the nested board and pillar board and axis. Okay, let's attach the components. And now we can do the same for the center. In this case, we need to fix this shelf because in this example, we have a stationary shelf. So I will use the same minifix again. But in this case, the nested boards will be side panels. The pillar board will be the bottom of our shelf. And we can use the same axis. Okay, now we have hardware set. So now it's time to place another element, like hinge. So in this case, I need to, pe uh, to pick planar edge of the door. Now I need to select the side face, as well as center work planes. And let's use attach command again. So now we see the hinges are in their position. Now let's place the door handle. For this operation we need to turn on the visibility of the door again. Set the distance and the position for the handle using the same principle. So we need to create a few more work planes. Let's go to the assembly. And I will create a work plane as a center plane in between two edges. So for this I need to select the first edge and also the center point. And also I need to pick the offset from the top. In this case it will be 132 millimeters. Don't forget to use minus sign. And let's place the handle. Use the same attach command. Pick the handle. And in this case we will place only one handle so we can Turn on the single insertion mode and let's pick the requested geometry. As you can see in this case, the component automatically changes its, its position once you pick the reference geometry. As an angle plane, let's pick our horizontal work plane and also I need to select two axes. As you can see, now we have our handle in the right position. So now we can close this dialog window and get rid of the components that is still presented in our modeling space. Once it's done, we need to configure some components. Most of them are hidden. First of all, let's use Alt and Close Bracket shortcut to turn off the visibility of our work planes. Now we can go to the Woodwork Design, Visibility Control, and choose which components will be visible. In this case, I would like to disable all the components which has woodwork for inventor material assigned. As you can see now I have a clear view of the hardware set which is presented in our mode. Some of the hardware items now need to be adjusted. For instance, we need to swap the position of this wooden dowel from one side to another and we can easily find this component in a browser using find and browser command. Now we can expand it choose a configuration table and use the right click to change the component. In this case I need to change the side of a wooden dowel from left to right. Now this newly changed component can be used as a template to change all the rest. I will use iMatch command. This command allows me to select the template component and now I need to simply pick the components that need to be matched with the configuration of this template. As you can see, it's enough to just click the component to change its configuration.
Once all the adjustments has been made, we can close this command and turn on the components back again. Don't forget that previously we have disabled the visibility of the drawers, so we need to turn them back again. And now it's time to use a sculpt operation to make a holes. Okay, let's use the sculpt command. This command is named sculpt because it allows you to not only cut all the holes but also create some woodworking joints as mortise and tenons and so on. So now let's take a look at the results. I will disable the visibility of the hinge component and as you can see the drillings are presented on both connected panels.